again. Today we're going to look at our third uh, metric unit, which is in mass, or another name for mass is weight. Um, so down here under the arrow, mass is the amount of matter an object has, so how heavy it is. The mass of an object is not affected by gravity. However, an object's weight differs depending on gravity. And what they mean by that is, and I love this example of an, ap an apple, an apple and its weight here on Earth is different from the weight in, um, on the moon because the gravity is lighter on the moon than it is here on Earth. So it just depends on really what planet you're on um, and where you're at will change your gravity. So, a gram, the mass of a penny is about one gram. So, if you don't know kind of what that would feel like, ask your parents if they have a penny and that you can hold on to it. Um, it's probably going to be about lighter than maybe even your pencil or roughly to that as well. Um, your kilogram would be the mass of six medium apples is one kilogram. So I know that would be a lot to hold on to, but you could put them in a bag and hold it that way. So if ever you've gone to the grocery store and you have bought six apples, you know exactly how heavy that is. Then that is a little bit heavier. Um, I know at, when I do this at school, it's about the weight of my stapler. Okay, so just something else to compare it to. Uh, so let's go down to the bottom here. In math in our world, the first example here is, which is the more reasonable estimate for the mass of the laptop? So this laptop over here, many of you are probably using one similar to this. This looks close to what I'm using. Um, would it be two grams or the weight of two pennies or two kilograms, which would be, now let's go back up here because this said six medium apples is one kilogram. So we would have to take six twice, which would mean 12 apples. So which one would be most reasonable? And they give us some helpful hints that you want to think about. Two grams would have the same mass as about two pennies, just like we talked about. Two kilograms would have the same mass as about 12 medium apples, which is what we talked about. What's more reasonable? You're right, two kilograms, and the abbreviation is KG, and they're lowercase letters. My K kind of got carried away. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one. All right, example number two. Is it more reasonable to say that a rabbit's mass is three grams or three kilograms? Here's your helpful hints, but I like to refer back to the items I know. I know a gram, one gram, is the weight of a penny, so that would be three pennies. Um, I know a kilogram is six apples, so that would be like taking six times three, so the weight of 18 apples. And I'm guessing this is a pretty big rabbit. So which one would be most reasonable? And you're right, three pennies is way too light, so three kilograms kg. Okay, now let's come down here. <laughs> We're going to look at the reasonableness based on the item and the amount below it. So we have a hat here, and we're looking at the weight, not the height. Would it be 25 grams or 25? pennies, the weight of it, not the amount, <laughs> 25 kilograms would be like taking 25 times how many apples? Yeah, six. So we'd have zero, three, 12, 13, 14, 15, 150 apples. I don't know. If I had to carry 150 apples, I might break my back. Just kidding. It would be awfully heavy 
in my hat. I don't want to have a hat that heavy on my head all day long. I would have a killer headache. So think about that. What is it used for will also help you with the weight of it. So knowing that, that should be more of my reasonable estimate. Okay. Ooh, now look at this big polar bear down here. His paws are huge. Would that be 450 grams or 450 pennies, the weight of that, which that would be kind of heavy, or 450 kilograms. So we know 450 times in that by how many apples? Six. That would give us zero and 30. Six times four, 24 plus three, 27, 2,700 apples. That's heavy. But I don't know about you, I can't pick up a polar bear, but I could hold 450 pennies if I wanted to. So if I can't pick up that, but I can pick up the pennies, picking up that polar bear would be very difficult. So my answer really should be 450 kilograms. Okay. Now let's go on to our independent practice, even though we're going to do this together and we're not gonna do all of these, I'll kind of jump around. Um, let's go ahead and look at number three with the reasonableness of the mass. This is like a spool of yarn or thread. So would that be eight grams, meaning eight pennies or eight kilograms? And I know one kilogram is going to be six apples yes so eight times six that would be 48 apples would that that be the most reasonable weight of that spool of thread no that's too heavy right so my answer would be in eight grams okay now let's come over here to something that we do know crayons you might have a box of crayons something like this at home or probably in your desk at school 100 grams would be the weight, so that's like 100 pennies, or 100 kilograms, which would be like taking 100 times 6, so that would give us 600 apples. Yeah, those crayons are not that heavy. There's no way you could pick one up and write with it, right? So your answer would be 100 grams, just like holding 100 pennies. Okay, now let's look at our cooler. Would that be 25 grams or 25 pennies or 25 kilograms would be like taking 25 and it's okay for you to do this guys if you don't know it in your head. 25 times our six apples, right? Six times five, six times two plus three, 150 apples. Now, I don't know about you, that cooler looks awfully full. They're ready to go camping. So if you were to lift that up, it would not be 25 pennies because I probably could hold that in one hand. But I can't hold that cooler in one hand. So I'm looking at 150 apples or 25 kilograms, right? All right, now we're going to jump around a little bit. Um... Let's go over here to the trampoline on number eight, because I know some of you have trampolines and probably have been doing that for exercise, which is great. All right, so here's this big trampoline here. Would that be 50 what? What is it, the grams compared to? Ah, 50 pennies. Or 50 kilograms, which would be like taking 50 times what? Six, yeah, so six apples. So that's zero and 530 so 300 apples now if we were jumping on this could i jump on the weight of 50 pennies i don't think that would hold it down our little bit of wind we would get here would blow that into the next neighbors every single day so we have to be reasonable with this it has to have some kind of weight to it right so 50 kilograms okay now we're gonna look at number nine. The table lists items that can be found in the classroom. Granted, I know we're not there, um, but we can imagine what those would be like, right? 
estimate the mass of each object, record your estimates in the table. So we have a glue bottle. First of all, would you measure in grams or kilograms? You're right, I would measure it more in grams. So what do you think? So I'm gonna look at what I know. What have I done in grams? Oh, that spool, that crayon. Well, I think it lies between the two. Hmm, and glue's not very heavy. I'm gonna say hmm, about 25 grams, right about there. Hmm. The book said 20, so that's pretty close, right? Okay, now how about a paper clip? First of all, grams or kilograms? Yeah, I would hope it's not the weight of an apple at all, let alone six. So let's go grams. Think about what it would be compared to with pennies. Yeah, I'm with you. It's probably only about one penny. Hmm. Now, how about your pencil? Your pencil is probably a little heavier, especially if you have lead in it. And like I'm holding the pen to my computer and it's a whole lot heavier because there's a magnet in it. This one's a little bit lighter, but the more lead I have in it, the heavier it becomes. So is it going to be more than one penny? I would say so. And depending on the pencil, this is where it can get, get kind of tricky. This one is awfully heavy. This other one, not so much. So I'm gonna say it's probably about 10 grams. And I'm gonna have to stop because sadly my husband just showed up and he's gonna make a lot of noise with my dog. So I'm gonna pause this. Okay, so I took the dog out. Yay, hopefully he doesn't bother us for a while. Okay, we're gonna go to the next page. We have a couple word problems we're gonna look at. Tyler bought a large bag of peanuts at a baseball game. It is more reasonable to say that the mass of the peanuts is one gram, or we compared that to the weight of a penny, or one kilogram, which is the weight of six apples. So he is buying the peanuts, a bag of peanuts, and that really matters. It's not just one peanut. You're not gonna buy one peanut at a baseball game. You're gonna buy a bag. And some of those people will eat peanuts the entire game. So knowing that, would the weight in a penny be the mass of your bag of peanuts or one kilogram? You're right. It would be one kilogram. Okay. So then the next one, explain to a friend, and you could do this to somebody else if you want to before you, we talk about it. Alicia is buying six oranges that cost $1 per kilogram. Is it reasonable to say the cost of the oranges will be greater than $6? Explain to a friend. So I want you to think about that. Pause it if I get going too soon. Okay, I'm gonna go on. If you're not ready, please hit pause. <sighs> okay, so when I look at this problem, I'm gonna compare six oranges to uh, a kilogram. Well, I can think that oranges and apples are pretty similar in weight, but then it says if one kilogram is a dollar, would it be greater than $6? Well, I would think no. <clears throat> I think this is $6 would be way too much because a mass of an orange would be less than six kilograms. And we're only doing six of them. So um, six oranges, would be less than six dollars, maybe more like one.
right? Okay, that's it for today. Bye, fourth graders.